Hello and welcome back to another episode of Octo Reacts featuring everyone's least favorite cephalopod, me, the disgruntled octopus. Hello! And today we're actually doing a, a reaction video on a chap called Canup Files, or Canup Files, I'm not too sure how to pronounce this. If you haven't already worked out, human words is actually quite hard for an octopus. And for those watching at home, you know, I have listened to your feedback and thank you very much. And I have spruiked up my background. I've got little uh, inspirational quotes up here. I've got Henry the octopus behind me. And today I'm going to need your help. So what I want you to do is basically quite early on, this gentleman says that he doesn't want to work a nine to five job. So what I want you to do first up, press pause. And what we'll do, put in the comment sections, if you would prefer to work for yourself as self-employed or you would prefer to work nine to five. So the, the context is this gentleman said he would rather work 80 hours a week and earn $30,000 working for himself um, or alternatively uh, and wouldn't want to work in a nine to five cushy tech job for $100,000 a year. So take that $100,000 in the, the applicable country where you're looking, where you're coming from. So personally, I'd probably take the $100,000 and do some stuff on the side to basically generate a secondary income. Uh, but this gentleman is basically um, saying that he would prefer that job. And yeah, and like I said, I, I agree with some points he makes through the videos and there's other points that I don't agree with, which I'm kind of a bit contested with because generally when I do these videos, I've got a real hard line in the sand of how I feel. But what we'll do is we'll go through his video, have a bit of a squiz to see what's going on. Uh, and without further ado, let's press play. I remember one day I, after working a, an insane amount of hours and just sitting there with like no money in my bank account. And my dad asking me, why don't you just get a normal job? And this was at a point in my business where I've, I've seen some success and some results, but I was just constantly hitting these ceilings and, and, and just at the end of the day being left with no money. This is like three, four or five years into me building business. I don't know if it's a generational thing, um, but yeah, like I said, please put it in the comment section below <laughs> if, if that's your way inclined. Yeah, you're more than welcome to flame me. I don't care. Um, but if it was me and if I was, you know, potentially, you know, 20, 25, I'm not too sure how old this gentleman is, I would definitely be working a nine to five job, especially in this economy, uh, just to generate some income, get some side hustles going, then basically build your business from there. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's my stance. And trying to be self-employed. I've made a good amount of money at that point, but I, I just had nothing to show for it. Like I put in all this work and I sat there with this question from my, from my dad specifically asking why, why will I keep doing the business? Like he, I remember him sitting me down with me. He's like, is this all worth it? Like, and uh, quite, yeah. And like, yeah, obviously your father's a different generation, but realistically he, he comes down to you know five years in you've got nothing to show for it like you've said yourself um yeah you've, you've obviously your parents are quite worried and quite concerned with <laughs> probably the direction your life's going in um maybe it might be time to to look at a nine to five job so they concerned for me and i told him i would rather make thirty thousand dollars a year working 12 hours a day whatever 80 hours a week working for myself over the imprisonment of sitting in a cubicle for eight hours a day, getting paid a hundred thousand dollars a year at some cushy tech job or something like that. So this is the point where I came across. So when, you know, if you're if easily offended by bad language, you probably want to press pause. I'll skip a little bit of section. I actually thought this guy was a bit of an idiot, <laughs> a bit of a, a bit of a knob, if you will, uh, for making that statement, because People watch this gentleman, yeah, and, and you know, like I said a bit earlier, he's had 46,000 views on this video. It's that he, they see people as mimic these things and all these different things, and there's nothing wrong with that situation. And like I said, that you pretty much you know, work that comfy eight, nine to five job, then you've got some hours after hours. You know, and I don't know this person's situation, so it might be single for all I know. Um, you, like I said, you know, save as much as you can, reinvest, build businesses from there, but don't start throwing you know shade at nine to fives just because you don't feel like it or you just don't want to <laughs> don't want to work so and you know obviously working for five years um you know 80 hours a week in your own business hasn't come to much fruition at this point so that you see i believe so much in just my own personal freedom and my own ability to decide for my own life significantly far outweighing ever having to work for somebody else and be a slave and having to show up consistently to so i'm not too sure what part of the generation this guy's in but he looks like he's jumped on that you know <laughs> don't feel like working 
um, skill set. There's nothing wrong with a nine to five job, like I said and previously. And I have worked for myself, and I have worked in a nine to five job, and I've worked in a nine to five job with a side hustle. Yeah, obviously generating income, and that's my preferred method at this stage. Um, being a forty year old octopus, but realistically, to have that mentality, it's like a, a sense of entitlement. That's, that's that's what really you know got up my my tentacles in the first place with somebody else. And I just I dreaded that that thought of working inside of an office and having to work for somebody and especially the concept of trading my time for money i could never comprehend that like i would rather go become a stripper or i would rather go do like upwork or some sort of thing like that or i would go find a sales job for somebody if i really had to do it I so this, this is the, the, the question that I caught out. You know, like, please <laughs> let me know if I uh, misconstrued what you're saying, that he doesn't want to work for a, a nine to five job. He doesn't want to work for a boss. He doesn't want to be a slave for, you know, for people to basically exchange time for money. However, he's happy to accept a sales job for someone else. That to me is a bit of a contradictory statement. And like I said, it could be completely wrong, you know, in the sense of, you know, commission-based work and all those different things. But to me, that's still... Yeah, you know, you're still reporting to someone. You're still responsible to someone, for example. And like I said in previous videos, if you're not happy with your current nine to five job, find something else. Yeah, you know, or if you're not getting paid in your current job, upskill or find something else. Always look, to, you know, to improve yourself and better yourself and all these different things. And you know, like we, we have had discussions previously. Not everyone can work for themselves. Like you know, I found it increasingly difficult to work for myself when I did. And you know, and the state of the economy and all these different environmental factors, you know, drove me back to work. So I just, there isn't a, a bit of a bone in my, in my body that wants to work a job at all. You see, like what led up to this was I realized that when I was in high school specifically, I remember I got a job during the summer and I worked my ass off. I think I was working like 10 hour days, 10 hour days at this place that was, it was like a very manual labor type of job. And I was getting paid, I think like something like $10 an hour. And after working my, my ass off for five whole days, I got a paycheck for about $400. Then I remember sitting here looking at this paycheck, like, I can't believe I just traded that much time for five days of my heart and soul and blood sweat. And tears like literally i have like a scar on my back it's really hard to do this reaction video to be brutally honest <laughs> this guy just comes across as extremely entitled but like the level of entitlement coming from this guy is just infuriating it's turned me orange <laughs> from this job because i got like this nail that like scratched my back and i want to play it off i don't want to be the little Ooh. bitch i guess in, in at the job and i did the math if i wanted to become a millionaire you know i viewed that was like freedom if I wanted to become a millionaire and I was getting paid $400 a week, then that, that would have taken me 50 years to get to the point where I was a millionaire. At that point, I realized that <laughs> this doesn't even make sense. And so why does everyone gravitate towards this million million dollar idea, I suppose, for personal sake? Like, I suppose the way that I look at it is that I would want a business or um, some sort of secondary income or some sort of income per se that would actually generate something that I'm comfortable with. You know, if I could live on comfortably 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a year with all my bills paid and have all these different things, I would want that income coming on a on a regular basis, on a yearly basis, or something along the lines of that. And obviously if I earn more or the business generates more than that income a year, fantastic. It just gets reinvested in something else. But I don't know why people keep throwing around this million dollar, yeah, this million dollar um, things to basically as some sort of trophy, I suppose. So I realized at a young age, like I was like 17, 18, that the system doesn't even make sense. Like great hundred percent there uh, declared at that point, I'm going to do whatever it takes to figure out a way to become one of these people. Like I just, I can't sit in a cubicle. I can't go, you know, be a part of some sort of a uh, dictator of a what's wrong with dictators oh. like go work under a dictator of a boss and have to go got a job opening if anyone wants to work for a dictator we're always looking for a new minion sit in traffic every single day just to go get paid a measly hundred thousand dollars a year to 
So I've got a question for this guy, right? So Devin, I think your name is, is that, you know, and from doing a little bit of research, I think he has his own companies or he has his own business or something along to this. Does that make you a dictator that's willing to leverage, you know, someone else's time, which is, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's dictator to dictator. Um, but, you know, it's a bit hypocritical, you know, saying that you don't want to do this, all these different things. However, you're probably <laughs> happy to, uh, to partake in that yourself to make the millions of dollars you portray. So I decided I was going to do whatever it took because at that point, I was just so pissed off. I was like, what the hell? And so that's when I came across doing real estate. Um, that's when I came across doing YouTube and I came to find like how much money like you could actually make as somebody doing YouTube. Not much. So the year, like the time of like an influencer was still kind of becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. Like people were just now finding out about how much money these people were making. Um, but it wasn't like where it is today where it's like freaking everybody has an OnlyFans or whatever the hell and like all those other, <laughs> everybody is like. Well, I don't have an OnlyFans, but I do have an Only Tentacles. So if you want to go check it out, it's OnlyTentacles.com. It has some sort of way. Forward slash Disgruntle Octopus. Yeah, like, and so that for me was like, I was willing to do whatever it took. And then, you know, always after like a few months, six months later, then I was doing better than I ever was ever before. And one thing that I learned along this path of like this lifestyle that you live, it's just, it's, it's not always like rainbows and sunshines. I will say that. But also... I would rather have five years of pain and suffering to have like another, you know, 65 great years of my life instead of having 40 years of misery, of mediocrity, just to be able to enjoy seven years of my life. Because if you do the math, like I've done the math. And he makes a valid point there, right? Like realistically, yeah. but that's not to say that it's one or the other you know obviously making you know doing five years of hardship and going through multiple trials and all these different things to get to your, you know your magic million dollars of this gentleman's head but on the flip side if you work nine to five that doesn't necessarily exclude you from enjoying your life and all the different things so i don't think they're mutually exclusive in that respect so uh, i don't know if i agree with that before the average age of expectancy is 72 the average age of retirement is 65 these days and so if you think about it you go to school for your first 18 years probably 22 if you go to college maybe you know maybe 23 24 it takes you a little bit to graduate and all right this guy's dribbling on he's infuriating me <laughs> so i've had enough of him so basically what he makes is a valid point though is you need to obviously try different things you need to invest in secondary sources of income whilst he doesn't like the nine to five hustle i suppose it's that it's no different with the side hustle, right? So realistically, if you're working for yourself or you're working um, you know, as a side hustle and all these different things, it's quite hard. It's quite complicated. It's not as you know, laid back and you know, cruisy as this gentleman says, especially all these different things. Um, you know, you probably work more for less money. And like you said at the start, is that you know, when you are working, especially like you know, doing side hustles such as eBay or you do all these different things, you know, 80 hours a week, 90 hours a week, 100 hours a week for very, very minimal money. And you know, realistically, you need to find yeah, a business that can obviously yeah, work for what you're actually trying to achieve. But anyway, let me know below what you think of this video, what you think of Canup Files. Um, I will put his channel in the, in the description below. <laughs> to me, you know, he's not necessarily sold. <sighs> There's something that's not resonating with this guy. I don't know. He's not, I don't know if it's a lack of charisma or it's a case of, you know, he's a Nepo, Nepo baby or, um, you know, he's just a, a generational shift where he doesn't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. I can't put my finger on it but, or my tentacle on it. But uh, like I said, it, it's really difficult to get into this mind space where almost like where the world owes you something. You don't have to participate because, you know, you, you want to be a stripper opposed to actually doing something along the lines of that. But by all means, um, you know, put in your comment section below if I'm off the mark or what your thoughts are in respect to this. No no offense to this guy. Like I said, that I don't know him for a bar of soap. I've done limited research on him, so he could be a multi-billionaire for all I know. Um, but yeah, but like I said, he makes some valid points. Um, a few points fall flat for me personally. But anyway, that's what it is. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that today. But without further ado, we'll see you next time. Bye.